guys, welcome back to House Heart Home. We're in the middle of some home renovations. I'm vlogging that too. That's going to be coming up soon. I'm filming that. So it's in the middle of that. It's not fully done. So all that's happening. And some of you would have heard of trail mix or, you know, um, it's just a mixture of dried fruit and nuts and uh, you get all these big boxes in the big stores at Costco or Walmart or Superstore or wherever else if you're in India. I'm not sure. I haven't really seen in India but it should be there, I'm sure. Um, so this is something you can make at home easily, guys. Uh, I just have a few dried fruit and nuts. Some I have more quantity, some less I just want to use up. So I'm just going to show you guys and I'll explain as we go. Here I have some pistas that's unsalted and not roasted. So it's just raw pistas that I'm peeling here. And here I have some cashews that are again raw, not roasted or anything. And some almonds. And for this you need this coconut slice because we love toasted coconut. And this is just dry coconut slices that I get at the Indian store. And then I love this thing. This is dried mango. If you have never eaten this, oh please, please eat it. It is so good. It is so good. And I have here a quarter cup uh, that I've chopped up of these dried mangoes. They are so yummy, so, so sweet. And you need some peanuts here that I'm going to roast up and um, take the skin off. Here I have some currants, black currants, um, and then I have some raisins here in this bottle and some dried apricots, just a few that I need to use up and some fig as well, I guess. Um, yeah, some figs here that I will cut up. If you have dry dates, they work great as well. And just a few walnuts here that I need to use up again. I just want to clear up. And I'm just going to make a mixture of all this. And it is so good to snack when you're hungry. It's so healthy because it has all the nuts and all the dried fruit. So it's nutrient rich. You can add any kind of dry fruit you want to this. You can add dried jackfruit if you get... Um, yeah, anything dry. Dry figs, dates, apricots are good. Uh, I love dry mango and coconut really adds a very good flavor if you like the flavor of toasted coconut it's great so and I'm just gonna quickly do this and show you guys the process so I have quarter cup of dried mango here uh, to this I'm just gonna fill up this cup to make it one cup so it will be one cup of dried fruit of your choice whatever you want so I'm adding in some currants there okay just to fill that up with one layer of currants and I'm gonna fill it up with another layer of kismis or raisins any color any kind you can use mm, yeah so nuts don't stay out very long they don't stay fresh if you have them out so just I have these small quantities in this bin here in these jars and then the bigger packets like this I just keep them in the fridge or freezer because that way they last longer and they don't turn rancid they stay fresh so there's another layer of kismis and I'm just gonna roughly I'm gonna roughly chop up these dried apricots that I have and add those in as well and the fix So I have all those dry fruits, roughly one and a half cup here. You can add the dry fruit of your choice, the quantity of your choice, whichever one you want to increase or decrease. Now I'm going to get my other uh, dry nuts ready. I have a mixture of pistas here inside and some walnuts that I'm just roughly breaking up into small pieces. 
or you can just buy already broken walnut pieces and to this I'm adding some cashews you can split them or add them whole So all of that goes into the bowl. So again, uh, roughly one and a half cups. I will still be adding the toasted peanuts as well. Let me show you. In the pan, I've added about quarter cup of peanuts, dried ground nuts, and I'm just going to, no oil, nothing. I'm just going to lightly toast them. And... Once the skin starts turning brown, I'll switch it off and then uh, cool it down and unpeel them. This is how they look once they are well roasted and you don't need to put any oil. As I said, I'm going to toast the other nuts as well and I won't be adding any oil because when you add oil, you run the risk of uh, them going rancid sooner so the trail mix because of the oil content it will go rancid or stale quickly so just by toasting the nuts what you do is you release the natural oils in them and that's enough um, and as I said make small batches or if you're making large quantities store them in the fridge or freezer and whenever you want you can take some and store them in a smaller container in your pantry or kitchen shelf and have them and keep replenishing so that's my small tip and I'm gonna let this cool down and then peel them That's it, your DIY nut mix or trail mix or whatever you want to call it. Uh, dry fruit and nut mix is ready and guys a handful of this is so healthy. Like There's so much nutrients in this, I can't tell you. And it's a great mid-morning snack or a late evening snack or you're sitting in your office and you know, you've know you had your lunch or maybe lunch is an hour away and you're just feeling so hungry or craving for something. Just have this good snack and you can just keep munching on it wherever you are on the go or if you're relaxing. However, it's just so good. Like you get the sweetness from the mango and the raisins and the apricots and the dates and the figs and all of that. And you get the crunch from, you know, the coconut, the peanuts, and the almonds. Oh, so yummy. So, so yummy. 
The one great thing about doing your own trail mix or your nut mix at home, among other things, is you can customize it however you want. If you're buying the store-bought ones, you get what they have in the you know box already, but you might not like something that goes along with something else or whatever. Or you might not like one nut or the other, but you like the other things. But if you make it at home, you can customize it to what you like. You can make a very berry nut blend where you add, um, so instead of the mango and the raisins, you can add berries. You can add dried blueberries, dried strawberries, dried cranberries, dried apples, and then mix in all of the other uh, nuts. And oh, I'm sure that'll taste lovely. Just just imagining it is making my mouth water and I can smell the berry smell. <laughs> it just takes, you know, a little bit of effort where you need to chop or you need to roast and toast but it's worth it it's it saves money and it's so healthy and so yeah that's it guys i just wanted to share that simple healthy snack with you all that you can do it yourself i know it's so tempting and so easy to just reach onto that box in the store and uh, just put it in your cart and then enjoy it um but if you can just take out a little bit of your time one evening or one weekend and make this and keep it for the whole month, then, you know, it's it's fresh, free from preservatives, free from anything, any chemicals, and it's homemade and it's so healthy and it's just so good. So it just makes me so happy to make it and to share it with you all and to eat it. So I'm gonna go and enjoy this. Put some in my mouth right now. <laughs> bye guys you know what to do bye bye <laughs>